Not so for Odin here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Judas today. We're in the cellar. You know what? Screw it. I have such little health. And one shotting these before they can deal with me is a big help. I'll take the miter. That's really good when you don't have many R containers. So basically the luckiest pickup ever just saved me from being the biggest. Oh my god. What the hell? Nine lives didn't kick in? What the f... Okay, I mean... off. I mean, it's nice that I can go in and survive coming back out. Maybe? Like, what happened? Had nine lives just not registered yet? I guess it the head just hadn't quite shown up yet. And there goes the frame rate, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Ooh boy. I don't know if I've ever actually been killed by one of those before, but that was pretty close. I would love a bomb. Hopefully this isn't a bad trip. And I know those other ones are, you know, troll bombs, so I don't need to worry about that. And I am fast enough to avoid his jumps, unlike last time we fought him. Alright, HP up, tears up, shots be down. Uh, at least I have a full soul heart. And what the crap just happened to the stream? It says I'm streaming. OBS says I'm streaming and recording. Whatever, I guess it's just to record. Stream now is that doctor's remote? No. I couldn't remember which was doctor's remote and which was teleport. Now we find Wrath. That one mulligan popping so quickly really could have caused me problems. Okay. 
Guess I take that because I think that's getting losing that stops me from losing the dove room chance. Yeah, so I just did that to get this card, which is not something terribly useful. God. So, I have not seen this room in so long, I completely forgot how it works. And no bombs, again. I wouldn't have had enough rooms to get a charge on the Mr. Boom without using it in here, too, actually. So I guess I could have Mr. Boomed that, but... Yeah. Oh, come on, how did that miss the stupid fire? Stop popping around. Okay, one of these actually helps a lot. Now I can tr buy two items, then trade a th you know three hearts, soul heart, whatever you know. And that's Guppy item number two. And since that's all that matters here, next floor. Okay, now the stream's working, huh? I guess. I'm super confused. I have plenty of health. Actually, I'm gonna... get the charge ready. Before I, um... wasted a room, although I guess I'll have a charge as soon as the uh, trap room's ready, so whatever. Although, I, then I, I wait, no, if I had come here first, I still wouldn't have had the book ready. That shot speed up sure helps with, you know, hitting what I'm aiming at, though. The key spawned in there, but still no bomb. Uh, that might teleport me to the devil room, so I'm not going to use the book before I open it. And that's Guppy. I finally get a couple of bombs. I'm not going to use the thing yet. Oh! Crap, putting the book down got rid of the bonus. Oh well. Luckily the flies from Guppy more than make up for it. Save soul hearts for devil items. Got a very small amount of health. Or sorry, not health. Um, got plenty of health. A very small amount of money. Hey, Vulcan Dipper, how's it going? Oh man, the mark is great. That's a speed up, too. And a larger damage increase than I would have expected. 
Alright, definitely worth half a heart to come in here. Maybe I'll get Dark Bum. Odds aren't very high. A little bit of money. Big damage up. 3.13. Because my flies are just weapons of you know, mass destruction. I wonder if hitting the eyeballs generates flies. Oh, that's helpful. It saves me at least two keys this floor. May as well look for money and stuff. So I'm at the cusp of being able to, you know, afford something maybe if I find a nickel. Which means I should wait to go to the shop first. Finding the seeker room is probably a good idea. Alright. I did not know that he could give you the coupon. I don't think. Okay, the soul is great defense. So my offense is, you know, almost unstoppable anyway. Okay, glad I used that sp without accidentally picking up. There we go. The, uh, and using the sun after I'd already, you know, been everywhere. I... have not set anything up for donations. I had completely for... Like, I haven't even looked into it because I've been so busy with work. should set up something. Seeker room looks like above the shop. And I'm glad I thought about it because there wasn't a keeper to blow up in the shop. So I wouldn't have gotten the double room chance increase. So when you donate, where does the donation money come from? I'm not sure what you mean. Because, like, in order to donate. Oh, I didn't even mean to pick that up, but it's not a huge deal. Like, if there's a button that you press that just says donate, I think you would have to be, like, hooked up to a bank account or a PayPal account or something. Or if you click on it, then it'll take you to a, you know, to a sign-in page where you, like, oh, make a donation using your PayPal account or whatever. I definitely want to find the shop first. Wow, every time I've said that this run, the shop has been like the next card, or the next. I will go ahead and buy this. I'll take this, because I did not get a devil room last floor. And if there's good stuff in the devil room... It might be worth the diplopiating. iTunes? I don't... Can you donate through iTunes? Alright, that's an active item I do not care about. Down and left is probably the boss, so I'm going to finish exploring up here. Like, I haven't looked into, like, donation options or anything.
donating through iTunes. I have no idea. Of course, I haven't even figured out how to do like a direct message through YouTube yet, so... Yeah. might be like I don't know how to gauge that basically even come back hopefully I don't get an angel item pedestal and have it wind up being a uh, I was going to say wind up being, um, duplicity. Actually, I 100% need to go back and grab the Book of Belial. I mean, I know I, like, I don't know what my win-loss ratio is, but I, like, haven't done any of the greedier stuff. I've only done a little of greed mode. I did all of the, like, just basic rebirth challenges, but I don't remember which, uh, like, afterbirth-ish ones I've done. I'm pretty sure that was Guppy's tail reviving me, unfortunately. Like, he did all challenges, you know. Uh, I'd have to dig my switch out. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh, I will just... You know what, let's do that, get rid of the worms. Uh, the, it's kind of annoying that the, you know, guppy head sticks out so far. I'm just going to try to respawn as Black Judas for fun. Because I've already, you know, lost all my, uh... uh because of that weird glitch where Nine Lives didn't kick in. I lost my, uh... Whatchamacallit, anyway. So I wonder if the guppy head goes away once I'm out of my Nine Lives. So I can just, uh, like, I don't remember if that happens or not. So the incubi are lined up better for me. Oh, huh. 
that's a speed up. Weird. Alright, well, that friggin' telefrag pisses me off a bit. Okay, good. I would like at least one item from here, though. You know, when you have wool with a bomb bag or something, you don't pick it up, it will just be in the way. Yeah. That... What is with my computer today? That was the laggiest, like, chest opening ever. It pushed the friggin' chest instead of just opening it up. If I die here because I didn't take the second Judas's shadow, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. But it doesn't really matter, because like I said, I'm, uh... Like, I died on the first floor because of a weird glitch, because apparently my computer's just interacting strangely with Isaac today. But... Oh yeah... The cat head is gone, which is what I've been wondering about, and then got distracted. Okay, that would have been really easy to get hit by. No telefrag there. Do another run. Well, yeah, that screwed me over. All right. Uh, new run. I'll just do a random. I guess. I did unlock Lilith, didn't I? Okay, Samson. Did I not turn on hard mode? I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh wow, I haven't seen one of the ginormous champions for a while. I'm pretty sure he does two full hearts if he hits you. I have no mods. And I don't quite have enough time to start messing around with them. Before, uh... That. It is Dr. Fetus. Good. Dr. Fetus works with enough other items that I will take it. It's not just point and delete the way um, Epic Fetus is, which is what I don't like. Yeah, I'll pull it up when I'm... Uh, done, like, it's on every, whatchamacallit, I'm pretty sure, like, because there's official mods, and or, like, set quasi-official mods, it's just part of the menu, like, when you boot up a Bethesda game on PC, like, I don't have any installed, maybe it'll take me to, like, the Steam Workshop page or something. To, uh, you know, put them in. Okay, stop making spiders, will you? Okay. I really want five cents. Because having an arcade... Helps a lot. Well, yeah. Like, Epic Fetus is significantly better. But that's why I don't like it as much. Like, Epic Fetus and Mom's Knife. This is the secret room, huh? Oh, there we go. That's a good amount of money. 
are just like easy win buttons that make it more boring. Whereas with Dr. Fetus, you gotta worry about the bombs getting pushed around by enemies and but and then other stuff like homing bombs and uh like I don't think it works with brimstone, but there's like other items that still work with it the way they don't work, like Maw the Void. Yeah, I mean that's common sense. But I just, uh, yeah, it depends on the challenge, really. All right. Now, normally I would go and look in the shop, but I want an arcade to spawn. Because I want a, uh, IV bag. Although, now that I think about it, with Dr. Fetus getting the, you know, damage ups isn't as important. I was walking on the wooden crosses up here in the basement. Interesting. I don't know what unlocked that. Dang it. That healed me for half a friggin' heart. I also wasn't expecting a crawl space there. It was cobwebby, so those usually don't have them, right? I should have to picked up the range upgrade. Basically, when I pick up Buckby's risk reward, yeah. Basically. I'll go ahead and take that just because it can be super interesting. Feed that. A little. Okay, good, it's just Monstro. Yeah, and stuff like timing it correctly to hit Monstro. Although, Epic Fetus is a little harder with that. Okay, well, might be Angel Rooms today. Which is unfortunate, because I don't have a lot of the good Angel Room items unlocked. Like, I don't know if I've done a full run on this save file, oh man, since uh, the original Afterbirth came out. Like, I... Wait, every... One is every bomb is coming out red. That's unusual. It's usually 50%. Well, oh, there's another tears. Oh my gosh. I actually need a penny to go in that room. I might not be able to get in there because I don't have money. And I just placed a bomb on accident. Yeah, like all of my uh, Afterbirth Plus. Play has been on the Switch. My other save file, I'm pretty sure that I um, maxed out. Uh, is there no secret room on this floor? Well, I just put three cents in, and unfortunately, I have to do that to get into the arcade. Yeah, like, I don't think there's a secret room, because it can't be next to the skinny room up here. Occasionally, a floor will spawn where there isn't one, or it's in such a weird place that it doesn't, like, open up when you, uh, like, put the bomb in the right spot. 
<sighs> and it's not even an arcade. Whatever, guess I don't have a trinket yet. Yeah, using the bed is, doesn't do anything. It just gives me, uh, like it just fills my heart containers. Like, yeah, yeah, because it's not up there, because I even checked. Weirdest thing. Matchstick is pretty useless here. So I've already got infinite bombs. I watched another video. Yeah, that's fine. Oops. How did that not kill the spider? Random crawl space. That's good. A little bit of money. No big deal. One of those rooms. Yep, see you later. Our energy could be good. I mean, I got the car battery. No famous talk live chat. Eh. I'm planning on keeping an eye on the chat. Super secret room, which is useless unless I get dark bomb somehow. Ah, stupid bats. Ah, come on. That took way too long.
I'm going to get a um, meat cube. No double room, but that wasn't really expected. Not flooded caves. Catacombs isn't nearly as annoying. Huh, another one of these rooms. Okay, this is a clean room, so yeah, it should. That's what was weird about the other one, because it was cobwebby, and normally only the rooms that aren't dirty will give you uh, crawl spaces in the middle. Although I guess maybe every trapdoor that isn't a, like, you know, boss room trapdoor has a chance of being a crawl space or something, maybe. Ooh, two soul hearts. That might actually be enough to go to, um... The, wow, that was... The curse room's down here. Yeah. Three soul hearts is probably enough to go to the curse room. That was a waste. I'm not sure how that hit... Oh! Okay. Must have gotten the hairpin for picking up a certain number of batteries, because the hairpin charges your active item as soon as, or well, when you enter a boss room, which is kind of nice for stuff like the Book of Belial or you know, blank card if you're using a stat booster card or whatever. Okay, good explosion. Alright, can't get into the trap room yet. There's the secret room. I don't think I started this floor with enough money. Well. Alright, so I don't really need the, um, whatchamacallit anymore. Considering as I now have 99 keys. And by whatchamacallit, I mean, uh, paperclip. Double Moon might be the best, because I have the, um, or, I mean, this isn't amazing. I just picked that up, because I don't think I picked it up before. But, it's not going to be particularly, oh, well, I would love to get any more sense now. Um, helpful because, like, I only have one room to get the bonus. Unless, of course, I pick up another act, like I, blah, 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 blah. If I pick up an active item that doesn't, um, have charges. See forever. Too bad I've already found both secret rooms. Infested isn't a massive deal either way. bad it increases my shot speed by so much, my range and shot speed, that it, my shots just ricocheting off the boss. <sighs> I don't really want the tears and shot speed up. I'll take Gimpy. And that. Yeah, I don't care so much about the tears and the shot speed is going to be a nightmare. Why is my shot speed so high already? I basically only took a uh, contract from below so I could get into this room.
Actually, I guess I can use the chariot to get out. I will, um... Actually... No, wait, what am I saying? I don't want to take the double moon in. Oh, that helps. I don't want to go back and get... What? That absolutely should have killed the stupid thing. I have dim bulb. It's another active item that I want, not another trinket. And I was going back to look for an arcade because that would uh, um, uh, getting a blood bag for the speed or IV bag for the Damage plus the, uh, wow. That was awful. Oh, I can actually hit him a bunch of times. It's an unusual thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, and of course now I need to go. Just freaking die. Alright, well I will save this run for later. Okay, the Ouroboros worm is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Like, oh never mind, it just doesn't do anything. soon, anyway. Especially because I'm now in a hurry. And there we go. Yeah. That actually wasn't intentional. But, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would, and I'll see you guys next time.